It's time for a new episode of the Wicked Going Predator, simply because I picked up a lot of awesome stuff. Yep, it's also like a package from China. Nevertheless, we're going predator mode, and we're going to have a lot of fun in this video. So let's go. Okay, so what's the point of these videos? It's very simple. I'm going to order all kinds of stuff. Normally when I'm having like the package from China, I'll collect them and make like this massive unboxing sometimes once or maybe a couple of times a year. But then I order a lot of stuff, so I just want to do this quick unboxing. And yeah, this unboxing will be basically in kind of an update simply because, yeah, I just wanted to show you what I picked up and more like an preview and what are you going to get here on the channel so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing because i have a lot of different stuff when it comes to collecting uh, building your own pcs retro stuff oh boy i have so many different things i'm basically making videos about because i have quite a variation when it comes to my interest and videos all right so let's unbox the first box itself and i'm gonna say this guy picked it up very nice no, he picked it up very nice but overall like what we're going to get is this msi PC. So this is basically like a bare bone PC. I'm not really sure how I'm going to present this product because it's an old one. It comes including an SSD, hey, 60 gigabyte. It's not much. These things are super cheap, but it came for free, so why not? And it always like comes in handy when it comes to a project. But overall, like I really love like mini PCs, and I was just looking on the internet. I picked that up for a couple of dollars and just want to see what we can do with it. It's an Intel Atom, so it's not super powerful, but just want to see when it comes to messing around with it and um, if i can manage to do something interesting with it i will make a video so consider subscribing and hit the little bell all right next up this is a package from china yeah so normally i told you like i'm going to make this massive unboxing but i didn't order anything in the last couple of weeks uh, but i said like a month and the reason why because i had so much stuff to review and i didn't see a lot of interesting products so but we have something new yep 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 we have something new this is the pandora jungle so for the people who have no idea what this is all about like a pandora's box is basically a plug and play device that you can put in your arcade machine you can make like a plug and play plug and play arcade machine or arcade stick and yeah these things are quite interesting and there was a new model out there and i just wanted to pick it up see if there is anything new so this will be a video for in the future but Pandora's box, it's always like a little bit of a mixed bag with these things. Sometimes they made indeed an improvement, but sometimes it's just all the same shit all over again. Came with a cable 3. These things are like super convenient if you want to build yourself and let's say a plug and play stick. I love Pandora's box for what it is. Alright, next box. Mm. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're in position. Let's do an unboxing. I just because this is basically like an unboxing. Okay, I picked up a couple of game related products and I must say like today I'm gonna to show you some oh like some really hidden gems. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get in this box. Oh yep, 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 yep. So this is the PlayStation clock and it came with something else. I bought a product and this was more like in combination, or you can see like it basically was free and extra goodie. I pretty like I just like it's very basic. I did like it. Uh, I would like doing adjustments, like putting the numbers on it, because now you don't know exactly how late it is. And you can see like the mechanism is still working, so we're going to fix the other part of the clock so we can basically use it. And maybe in the background. Super convenient, I love it. I love things like this, man. Like really cool. And by the way, they made it themselves. So this is not like you can something you can pick up from AliExpress or something like that. I think you can basically get the holder that this piece of plastic is in. Because they got this clock out of a PlayStation 1 casing. Yup, they made it themselves. Okay, so the last couple of months I bought so much stuff from AliExpress. I made this massive, let's say, overview what I bought. And there was so much stuff I could review for the upcoming month. But still then, I love to check the marketplace if I can find some unique stuff. Just to mix it up. Because I don't like to do every single day a package from China. But there is so much stuff out there that is so interesting. The only downside to this is that it's very hard to find it yourself. And like this is a great example. So it comes with an, quite a very heavy like a 3 amp 5 volt power supply. And this is what I just found and picked up. Super pleased with it because this is a product I think it has a lot of potential when it comes to let's say making a quality video. I love myself, let's say DIY kits. I love to mess around with some stuff. Sadly, I don't do this a lot simply because of time limitations. 
that's the reason why I have a schedule on my YouTube channel. So I have like some couple of days left so I can also spend more time in a certain video. And this will be one of those projects. This is basically an original PlayStation 1. They completely modified and you can stick a pie in it or something else. And I really find that pretty cool just to have in my collection. To have a PlayStation 1 that can play everything. But yeah. <laughs> It doesn't open anymore so the on and off switch does work in the main review i will show you like what's going on on the inside he did some minor modifications of course we needed to have more ventilation because if you want to stick a mini pc in this or an an other piece be like a pi or an xeo4 you need to have some better cooling Okie dokie. So let's take a close look at this package. So this is basically the package where the clock needs to be in. And yep, the seller forgot it. So he did resending the clock itself. I was really happy they did because I find it really a, like a unique extra. Okay, so the packaging, the, he did a very well job packaging up. Oh crap. I just realized that I'm opening up from the wrong side. Ooh, a lot of paper. No toilet paper, but just paper. Okay, so I found this thing on the local marketplace and I was thinking, man, oh, I need to have this. I need to review this channel. This is so unique. I personally think that is the next level of system modding. Yeah, already given a spoiler and look what we're going to get. You can already see it. Yep, it's a PlayStation 1. It also comes with the first generation controller. I think I have a couple of them now. I, th I still need to clean a couple of them up. I love like check it out. And there is, nope, there is nothing else. Okay. So let's put all the bloody paper back in. Oh man, I really hate the mess, you know, like. <sighs> all right, so what's inside here? Let's see. <laughs> ah, yeah, so this is something else. And that was quite interesting. So first of all, Diablo 2 for the NES. Yeah, I found this, it's still an okay condition. It does have like some minor damages. But I picked it up. I don't know if I'm going to make an actual video about it. This is like a little bit of on. Uh, do I going to make a video about it? It's just interesting enough. But I just wanted to pick it up just to see for myself what it is. Diablo 2 for the NES. I hope I'm going to like it. Otherwise, it would be bummer. All right, next up. So this is the thing. The thing that I bought from the marketplace. And it is... It's the... PlayStation 1, yep, with an SD card. Yeah, I picked up another one. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to see what is this. I think it's called like the SDX station or something like that. So we're also going to do a full teardown. I really love the casing. So the glass window gives me like a double feeling because we're having now an SD card. Yeah, so normally if you're having like a disc inside, that would be cool seeing the disc spinning. I have shown you with my different modification PlayStation, but this is more like, yeah. What's the point? All right, so I think it's pretty cool to have Diablo 2 for the NES. I find it a quite interesting concept, like the homebrew games they are creating now in 2021. I'm making this video. Like you can find so much interesting stuff, even complete unboxed. And I'm a big fan of Diablo 2. Still have the original PC game. Okay, so last box, and this is like a gigantic unboxing. It also is going to be like for my Wicked collecting channel. Yeah, so I have created a channel some time ago, and this purely made for collecting. Now you're thinking, yeah, but you're called Wicked Gamer and Collecty, I know. The thing is like, I wanted to have something that's purely for collectible items. Think about figures, statues, stuff like that. That is not really belonging on the main channel. Okay, so it says on the package, breakbar. That means fragile in English, for the people who are just interested to know. Okay, so let's take a close look inside. So I picked up this a lot of different figures and I must say that it's not really figures, like mini statues. Okay, um, up front, I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, uh, especially from the Dragon Ball Z series and from, I didn't like the GT. So like GT, it was not like something I really liked, but more like the Z and the Super. And I picked up this, the old risen statues, like made by a French company. So I must say that some of these look very cool. Some are like really bad in my opinion. And take consideration these things are pretty old. And when it comes to Dragon Ball collectibles, there is so much different stuff out there. Here you can see like it wasn't gigantic a lot, like a lot of different ones. I must say that I didn't do a lot of research for once. I'm more like just bought a lot. I think I just surprised myself. And I realized more like, damn it, these things are like very tiny. I'm used to like getting figures from around like 25 centimeters or bigger statues and okay so these Dragon Balls look cool 
but I'm curious like are we going to get them off of the base or is this one piece okay so let's see what we're going to get more do we have here Goku so this Goku is a great example like look at his face it's more like he's not powering up it's more like he's trying to take a shit you know yeah but okay that's my opinion about it so this Gotenks it looks kind of cool so some of these statues are really looking nice but take consideration I will my like make separate videos about all of these figures go on and will be, some of them will be like very short videos okay here we go to get go tanks uh, this one looks okay all right nice okay so let's see what we're going to get here mm -hmm. Ooh, no no I need to remove the other ones over here oh man I really hate the cheap Theraphone Krillin such a cool character by the way with his destructo disc kind of thing I'm always putting them over over there like I put them everything on the pile oh wicked you're making a mess out of it we need to put them on a better position otherwise they will fall and they will break because it's freaking risen okay so the Vegeta with Scouter has a mixed feeling like mm, I do like the Vegeta with Scouter thing but it's not the best one okay like where are we going to go on to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Gohan in general, like, it's fa it was a really cool character when it was with the Cell Saga, everything was about Gohan, but now it's again a Goku show. Okay, let's see. Trunks, mm, it looks okay. Yeah, I love the statue, this like, I like this one. But again, I'm not a big trend fan. This was more like, normally I would just buy and pick up the most popular characters like Goku, Vegeta, Go Geta, Go Tank, stuff like that. Ah, let's see if I can pull it out Goku with this spirit bomb so the thing I don't like about the statues already like they're only having like a name like Goku yeah like so we're having like five or maybe 50 different Goku's but this is the Goku with spirit bomb okay well, let's see okay so and this lot was only the Frieza form 3 I really hate Frieza with this form I find that a really ugly statue don't like this one at all but yeah, again, I'm not a big Freezer fan. I do like his perfect and gold form. Okay, here, perfect cell. This thing's quite heavy, by the way. Like, this is a gigantic statue compared with the other ones. I do like this. This one looks nice. Alright, so let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, this is also like a big one and a heavy one. Piccolo. Piccolo. I find it also like a very interesting character. I find it always a little bit of a bummer when you're getting into the story a little bit further. It's always like about Vegeta, Goku and all the other characters don't really matter or that's the feeling I'm having. Future Trunk. I think like from Trunks itself I wasn't a big fan but this Trunks with a sword like the Future Trunks was pretty cool. Also the story how he got the sword. So this, look at his forehead. What the hell is going on man? Goku's Super Saiyan. Yeah I don't know man like this Goku... Mm, well, let's see, like, there is nothing, there is nothing much. This is the Let's Statue. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Mm. This pose is okay. There's something wrong, weird with his hair, by the way. So you can see, like, it's a mixed thing with these statues. And again, yeah, they are, like, quite old. There's something he put in the box. Ooh, I think they belong to one of these statues or something like that. Ah. So, okay. That's pretty cool. Hmm. 10.5 centimeters. So you can see like these things are like quite tiny compared with the new figures nowadays. Well yeah. Alright. So that's what's inside the box. Okay guys, so this is the overview of the collection of Badass like the unboxing. I will make like separate videos on my Wicked Collecting YouTube channel where we're going to talk about each single figure. And in the future will like give you small updates about the collection, how everything goes, like what kind of figures I'm having and which what will maybe sell because I was I think I will not keep every single figure. By the way, this collection of statues is not complete. I couldn't buy it complete. A little bit of a bummer, but to be honest, like I think the only one I wished I had was the uh, Final Form Frieza. I think that was the one I wanted to have too, because Frieza Final Form is pretty cool. I want to thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that red bell, become one of the Wicked family, and it would be great to see you here on the Wicked Gamer and Collector, but also on the Wicked Collector channel. And it would be great to see you in the next video.